So you probably thought I gave up, didn't ya? Didn't ya? I don't blame you, considering we were heading to Monaco. I have given up on some of things, though. Some of things? Some of the things. Um, I'm not doing full qualifying, and I'm just gonna basically do the races, because big news, Formula One 2023 is coming out next month, or the end of this month, soon. And uh, it looks way better than this one. This game seems like trash compared to that one, so we're gonna just kinda kind of breeze our way through the rest of this, just to play it out, just to have something to do, <laughs> and then we'll wait for the new game to come out, which uh, hopefully will be better. Uh, we'll head out for qualifying, since so this is single session qualifying, which considering we're in one of the top cars, it basically is anyway. So not really losing out too much there. And it's less time in Monaco, but I am going to do that everywhere. Monaco still continues to be a weird thing for me. Uh, I don't even hate driving around Monaco. Like, it is kind of fun, but it just feels like the physics engine doesn't support the cars actually driving around this track. Like, to be able to match the AI through the slow sections of the track, it just seems superhuman. <laughs> Which, I mean, I suppose you might say, oh, no. <laughs> can we can we get two flashbacks and I'm gonna use one already? Yikes. Uh, I guess I'll pick up here-ish. Oh, I forgot about the fact that you don't get force feedback when you flashback. Alright, that's fine. What was I saying? Oh yeah, in the slow turns, it just does not seem humanly possible to do the speed that they want you to do. Oh my gosh. I was doing just fine before I started recording, I swear. I promise you I was. I, I, I swear that I promise. Um, we can use both of them? I think so. Oh, don't crash now. Alright. Maybe, maybe less talky, more, more dewy decimal system. I had really considered what if I just like recorded Monaco but didn't do commentary? That was that was a thought of mine and I think I need to do something pretty close to that. I'll react, but not commentate. Oof. Very understeery. Very understeery. Not feel like this in practice. Let's give it one more try here. Because I did like a 114 1 in practice. What are you gonna do? Can you even let me buy? He's got oversteer there. Yeah, he did. I even tried using the TV cam and that didn't work, like the, you know, the one above the car. I thought that would help, but I'm not used to that perspective, so it just threw me off even more. Just use all the curb. That's the way to do it. Are we back to the 14s, maybe? Should be close. Yeah, alright. That's, you know, that's something. Let's uh, go to the garage. Now, they predicted my 14-1 would be a 17th place result. And currently, I am in 17th, so... It seems as though that may have not been too far off. But I do think there's some room for improvement. 
even within my skill. Car getting loose on me there is not helping my injury. If I'm not getting back to the throttle soon enough there. Pretty good game, though. Ooh, that was... That was questionable if that was legal, but... They didn't call me on it. That's part of the name of the game. Is... Trying to get all of the track limits without them catching you. That was a great lap. And then the big lockup. Struggling with that as well. Any more rearward bias in the car is unmanageable. The tires will easily do two laps. Lost the nose really bad there. Hmm. Did I clip the wing somewhere else on the lap? I don't remember doing so. But it would kind of make sense. Alright, we have another set. Actually, we have plenty of sets to use. Back out we go. I'd like to at least be near the points. So at least to have something to aspire to in the race. That would be nice. At the end of the day, we're kind of just getting this one done with. There was a time in which I had learned the place enough that I could actually treat this like a real race. But I feel like the recent games have kind of strayed away from... Monaco believability. So it's kind of gone back to a throwaway weekend for me. Okay, we got that big Sector 1 gain again. Nice. Didn't get cold on it. Way too many turns in there. And there. Lost a lot in three. Better though. P5. As long as not everybody in the world improves, I'm being, I'd be pretty okay with that. Uh, two minutes to go, and we're three tenths down. So that might be my final attempt at a lap. We'll see. I'm going to send it. It's not a terrible lap, but I'm going to run out of ERS energy, I think, before the end of the lap. Even though we regain a bit there. I don't think it's enough. We'll see. Oh, we're way down now. And then we locked up there. I think that's going to be my biggest... Achilles heel here is locking up into that turn. All right, we'll see what uh, what that lap can give us. We are just ahead of Carlos. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Turn to garage. There should be any time to go out, so that should be it. 
proper road race and in the true meaning of the word. That's how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. Anytime he says Mr. Cars Monaco, I just think of the Monopoly guy. The half I don't know century, why. But still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There's no victory. More no coveted, rain. That's nice. That of the Monaco Grand Prix. We're, We're just on the giving up now. <laughs> once more this weekend at the two mile long circuit de Monaco. The cars will climb around 40 meters up the hill, past the casino, and then descend towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of 19 corners. And don't expect to see much overtaking here today. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from Excuse pole position, me? edging out Max what? Verstappen, who will start from P2. Moving on to the rest what? of the grid, we have... That's the most ridiculous Perez, thing I've seen in the Sainz, season so far. George Russell, Cohen, Other than me in sixth, Fernando Alonso, that's, that's equally Ricardo, ridiculous. Gasly, Isn't that better? Did somebody Esteban get a penalty? Alcon, Hamilton, Bottas, oh, Hamilton did poorly. And Fettel, Mick Schumacher, Somebody Magnuson, must be at the back. Yuki Tsunoda, and Lance Stroll. Latifi. No. Alex Albon picks up the Weird. last spot on the grid. Hmm. That's it then. It's time to go racing. did better than I thought, or I just missed the penalties. For today's race. Still one of Anthony my better Davidson efforts here. Me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming How many times do they use this voice line? Too many. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Is that what my battery indication should be doing? Because it doesn't look right. Soft to medium. That looks nice, and that's selected. Uh, we got two extra laps of fuel on board. Let's not do that. Let's keep that pretty low. And 24 minutes to live here. Let's see if we can do it. Two flashbacks, and I will use them. Good start, actually. The energy stores depleting, reducing our overall capacity. Or charge it hold. I don't think so. I'm not just moving over for you, Fred. I'm pretty okay with kind of just staying where I am. That would be far exceeding my expectations here. And we got Hamilton buried in the field. We're kind of really battling with Mercedes for points right now. If my memory serves me right. We got some yellows behind us. We still have yet to have a safety car this season, I think. No, it's great. I will ride that curve the whole race. It's nice to actually be able to follow cars here. Practice, they just won't let you do that, basically. Alright. Well, this is a good start. I might even say I'm optimistic. Will that come back to haunt me? Yes. Oh, Russell's on mediums. That's interesting. I wonder where that would be. I do kind of worry about traffic because we're pitting early. Been like a nice run for science here as well. I might even say that I'm a little faster than Russell here. But where would we get around him? I probably have to be out of here. And is it worth risking destroying the car? Probably not. A little bit of lock up there. Remember, that's where I was worried about. DRS is being 
Now he's starting to fall away a bit. I think the big thing is he's not defending now. Ooh, that was possibly enough to take an end plate off. It doesn't show you if you do, which I kind of prefer. <laughs> like, sometimes it's nice to know as much as possible about the car. Sometimes you just need to live in ignorant bliss, though. He is slow through there. Not being nearly as aggressive on the curbing. Oof, hate that turn. That was scary. I've been thoroughly spooked. All right. Can't really use much energy now. You got all the old parts on the car. I didn't take any penalties. Usually I take parts penalties here, but I decided to give it an honest uh, effort. And, you know, we'll take our penalties somewhere where we can actually pass. We can't really afford to keep losing points in this season. Remember, we get one warning at least for cutting. And I will take it. Rather than risking the car. Alright, we're into a nice groove here. Feel like we're keeping them honest. Picked up a little understeer there. And gap to the car in front is 1.5 seconds. There it is. It's just those moments where it just like, yeah, I don't really think I feel like turning anymore. Alright, we'll pick up after here, and about there. At super low speeds, there's basically no feedback in the steering. It just, you really have no idea what you're doing, <laughs> or at least I don't. We all knew was the case all of the time. Starting to get a little slidey. A little slimy out here. This medium is probably working a lot better. Take all the curb, try to keep it safe, which sounds weird, taking curb to keep it safe, but Monaco's weird. Looks like Russell's actually starting to catch Perez a bit. Might hold them up. There's a speed differential between them. Maybe those mediums really starting to come to fruition. We're still hanging on though. 
We're not getting caught. As much as I'd like to be right up behind him, it's also good to not have pressure from behind. We're pitting this next lap, if I remember correctly. Yep. Maybe I shouldn't push hard. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad idea. Definitely does feel like I've just about used her up. Dangerous thing to do to ride that curb. Another nudge to the wall. No way of knowing if that did damage. I'm sure it did though. So hold on to it. Ooh, I don't know if that's tires or wing, but I definitely had less grip there. Okay. That's information. Pit entry is bizarre. We're in. Uh, 20. Optimal. Had to hold a little bit for the McLaren. Oh boy, Lonzo's going to be right on me now. We got to try to get these tires up. Quickly. All right. We can control in a nice, comfortable place. We need to make hay. We're going to try to make ground on the car spitting later. That's not going to help, but at least I kept the wing safe. Should probably just focus on keeping my position. There's Carlos. There we go, there's our gap back. Just make the time where you can. And lose the time where you are, don't try to push it. I think that's the deal. Never know what can happen in the pits here. If someone gets held or is an issue. Okay, keep it going. That's Looks like everything's pretty normal though. Rez is probably going to go longer. Could be good for us. Let's see, seven seconds now. Car definitely feels better. Unless he's already pit. Oh, he may have already pit. That might just be how far behind him I was. I think we just got some cars that haven't pit. Yeah, because he's on medium. Russell was the only one on the other strategy. Curb abuse. I guess I'll know when Sonoda fits. He's likely when Russell's in. Got myself a little purple sector there, which is nice. Just about lost it. That was close. That worries me. Wonder if I'm being too hard on it. Am I gonna have anything left at the end?
Okay. We're catching Sinoda. We actually caught Fries a little bit too. At least in that moment that I looked. So we're on a pretty good run here on these tires. Be curious to see how it's going to work out with Russell. He might be in? No? Yeah, I guess it makes sense they would go pretty long. Considering how early we fit. I do wonder if he's going to go to hards. So I think that's what it considered us to do. I think it would give us a shot. Alonzo is in P10. So not as good of a points day, but still good. Did I say Hamilton or Alonzo? I don't know. He's caught back up pretty aggressively here. Wait, who, what? Did he say Ferrari? I swear he did. Russell is on hards. What is that? What? 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 Okay, I've got distracted by that message. This is our last one. We got half the race to go, basically. <sighs> this is just nice to breathe. I still see him ahead of me, so I think that was just a bad message. I think I just gotta be a cork. I think that is my role. Trying to hold P6. Is that my cut? No! So glad I paid those marshals. I promise I have cutting on. Cutting penalties, that is. I feel determined to show you. I promise I'm not. No more... No more gimmies. Gotta be cool. Kind of good to have nowhere to go forward. Maybe I'll be inclined to save my stuff a little bit better. It does feel that way. I feel like I'm pushing nearly as hard. And those still in the lead. Probably Verstappen. I'm thinking Verstappen, Norris, Sainz. Did you? Did you pucker? Because I did. Big time. No, we're not. That was a big lie. I 
makes it easy through here. There's no real time to gain. Only time to lose. focus mode now, now that we're defending. But not really defending. The only thing I'm defending from is making mistakes. It's kind of the worst person to have to defend from, though. Yourself. Like, there's no way they're going to pass me through here, so there's no reason to push it. That's just five laps of fuel remaining. We're getting down there. Who can do it? Started to get a little bit of that squidgy feeling back. Please don't hit me. That would make me very, very sad. The turbo charges on its last leg, so let's try to keep mileage on it for a minimum. That's impossible. Is that looking like a safety car or no? Somehow it's not. I would have loved for a safety car right now. It's one of the first retirements we've seen. All this way into the season. I would say more than likely I lost an end plate on the front wing at some point. Car definitely doesn't feel as planted as it did early. There's plenty of places it could have happened. So I'm just kind of holding on. How dare he pull his car into a nice safe location? How dare he? First redeemable thing he does in his career, and he does it now? That was a bit harsh. Working lot. I do wonder if it's the cars that have made Monaco less interesting in the new games, just like it has in real life, where the cars have just gotten so big that they just don't fit here. And that's just made the tolerances so tight that it just feels like you can't, you just can't do. How come nobody told me I was significantly short on fuel? How, how did nobody inform me of this? You think I've had time to look at the wheel? Well, there's no fuel loads on these cars. Okay, gaps of the car ahead. 
So we're just gonna have to lift and coast it a bit here. And try not to lose it. Keep the RPM down. Short shift. I think they can save that much in this amount of time, but it'll be darn tight. They basically just can't pass me. Unless I make a huge mistake. They sure did tell me about my turbocharger, but nobody was going to be like, Hey, by the way, they don't have enough fuel to get to the end. That was scary. He was going to send it. He might not have enough time to save this much fuel. Um. Oh boy. I bet you that's been hard to watch. Knowing that that was going to happen. Guess we just have to hope we can nurse it around that last three tenths of a lap. What's annoying is I could have saved this much the whole time. There's no reason I couldn't. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Where are you gonna go, bud? Oh boy. You did not just cause me to do that. I mean, I guess it was me more than anything, but where was I going to go? All of this, and I'm still gonna run out of fuel. Let's just try to hold on to a point. We can. Boy, we really did need that safety car. Where is it going to run out? Is a question. Oh, God. Can I stay ahead of him? Three second penalty. And I'm out of fuel. There goes our points. Monaco. Monaco got me again. Okay, so the gap to the car can we get a can we get a collective seconds. womp womp, everybody? Just a just a collective womp womp. My best drive at Monaco ever, <laughs> and we ran out of fuel. Hopefully, um, so as they Carlos got some good car, points there. The Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result? Do you I don't think? care. Here I don't care. I don't care. Let's have a quick look at how the driver Third. standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today. The best of uh, 15 2, two yeah. Not Verstappen great in race pace. But I should have been the right there. Today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Oof. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. After okay, like well, that, we're still in the ballpark. The has in store for us next time I would say sure drivers is probably out of the question, but maybe not.
Boy, that hurt. All right, lesson learned. We can do Monaco, but put extra fuel on board because apparently they don't know how to calc for it. Lesson learned. <laughs>